This is episode four of the Random Spontaneous Five Minute Review Movie Review slash Discussion Things, where I talk about random movies uh, blindly uh, by picking them out randomly. So I'm going to start picking them out, and then I'll start again. I'm gonna go way over here this time uh, because I haven't really done this. <sighs> this is not going very well. Okay, this is uh, Desperado. Um, stars Antonio Banderas, and it's of course directed by Robert Rodriguez, who did um, From Dust Till Dawn and like the Spy Kids movies, which are terrible. I don't know what the hell he's been doing lately. I think that he recently had a bunch of kids or something like that. Maybe not recently, but within the last, you know, uh, I don't know, 10 years. And he's decided that he's going to make a bunch of movies for his kids. But I don't know why I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that so that I can ignore the fact that it's been an extremely, extremely long time, probably like 10 or 12 years since I've seen this movie, and I have no idea what it's about. I completely forget everything about this movie. I did watch it, um, again, a very long time ago, but uh, I really I really don't remember enough about it to say anything remotely uh, helpful or insightful. Um I'm not really justifying this with anything, being that I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to say it's three stars. I think this was made in like 94 or something like that, 97. So I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just going to toss that down and see if I can get luckier. I'm going to go directly behind me and above and see what I can pick out. Okay, this is, um, uh, this is Blow Up. Uh, it's by um, Michelangelo Antonioni. I'm pretty sure that that's how you pronounce the last name. I should know. Of course, he did um, uh, The Adventure and The Eclipse and um, a few other movies. He's an Italian director, if you couldn't tell by the uh, Oni on his last name. Um, he's known... Well, he... He, direct, he he hit his directing prime, I suppose, in the the early '90s. I think that this was made in like '67. Did I just say the '90s? I meant the early '60s, um, because that's when he did um, he did the adventure and Eclipse. Maybe that was late. Maybe that was like '59, but it was right around the 1960 mark. I think that this was made in '70. No, in '66. Um, I might have already said that. I'm really getting off track here. Okay, this movie, though, it, it's sort of... I don't really remember that much about this either. Um, I remember that it was very postmodern, um, and I'm getting it confused with another... I'm getting it confused with The Passenger, which was another Antonioni movie, uh, which starred Jack Nicholson. And I don't remember that much about this movie either. Um, just like I said, it, I just remember it being very postmodern, and um, this guy takes pictures of women. Um, that's pretty much the, all that I can remember. I'm going to give it four out of five stars, even though I can't remember anything about it. I'm sorry that these are not going very well. I hope to pick out another movie right now that I can talk about uh, in more detail. Oh, look, okay, this is, this, is, this is pretty... Okay, Russian Ark. This was made in, I think, like 2000 and... Uh, I don't even care what year it was made. This movie gets five stars for me. The th great, the amazing thing about this movie is that it was an experimental project. Essentially, the entire movie is one continuous uh, shot. So, it's about 90 minutes long. The entire 90 minutes is, again, one continuous take. They There was no editing. There was no cutting down of anything. Um, basically, as I remember it, they start just essentially by going in this um, museum, I think of like Russian history of some kind, and the entire thing is is essentially like the, the museum sort of coming alive and history sort of playing out while um, the camera flies through this, um, this uh, museum. And all of these huge elaborate things are going on, like these, there are these huge sequences with a bunch of people. It's incredible um, how much work and how much preparation had to go into uh, this movie and just basically the shooting. As as I remember it, um, as I remember it, they had to do three diff they had to do three takes, and on the third take, they ended up actually getting the thing right. Um, it's by uh, I I I can't actually pronounce the director's name without without embarrassing myself. But experimentally, um, cinematically, this movie is pretty much as good as you can get. It's the only movie that I'm aware of, at least that's worth talking about, that was done in one take. And, um, again, the cinematography obviously is beautiful. I'm running out of time, but definitely check this out if you haven't.